That was close. Jack! Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence. On your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, uh, Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. That what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. King Arthur. Was that not the end? Or is there a little bit more here? We're playing John now. For the next little bit. A few years later. Guess they've been trying to settle down all over the place, but John keeps going back to his old ways. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. John has never been to Strawberry. Oh my god, look at how big Jack is now. What have they been up to the whole time? I'm glad to see they're doing well. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. <laughs> Trouble adjusting to normal life. Hello. Help wanted. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Mm. As long as it's honest. And it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Not a it. wagon by any chance? I'm sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Well, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay.
Was that it for Arthur then? We're just beginning anew here? Hold on. Well, it's been a few years and we're definitely not wanted anymore. Oh. Okay. What about my stats? John. Wait, perfect. We've never had a perfect. No honor though, <laughs> normal. What? All I want to do is think and talk about Arthur, but they're giving me John. Let's wait for a downtime before we talk more about Arthur then. Oh my god. Oh, gotta go talk to Abigail. That's right. Look at John's look though. He looks completely different. My goodness. I guess he's trying to um, turn over a new leaf and all. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. <laughs> Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> What's wrong with Jack? Is he going through a teenage rebellion or something? How old would he be now? It sort of just said some years later earlier, so I don't even know how long it's been. You load her up pretty good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Of course. Okay. I'll try my best. Is there an end in sight though, or am I just like we're not even in the middle of a quest or? Ooh. West past Owen Chila, then follow the road north. Okay. I'm just going through John's daily life now. Or since it's been so many years, the gang split up. Maybe during our delivery, we're gonna run into a familiar face. I'm not gonna ask for Arthur, because that's medically impossible. But maybe Sadie. What happened to Sadie? Doesn't seem like she's with us anymore. Tilly. That didn't sound good. The crates? I thought I drove okay. Maybe not as well as I thought. The horse's mane looks really weird from this angle. <laughs> it's like a flat sheet of paper. Who else was part of the camp who actually lived towards the end? Dutch. Dutch and Micah going separately. It's a little bit unexpected. Hmm. I thought that both of them would just ditch us entirely. But it almost seemed like at the end, Dutch came to a realization. When Arthur was on the ground and he mentioned that John made it out, I thought Dutch was gonna get so angry he would kill me or something. So I was really surprised that that was what seemed to change his mind. Previously, remember the whole insist thing? He was so angry about hearing John's name. But Dutch actually had a change of heart or realization at the very end. Which Arthur got to see too, so maybe that's a little bit of... Consolation? I don't even know if you can count it as that. God, I knew we weren't gonna be able to touch Micah or Dutch. But when they gave me the fight with Micah, it almost gave me a bit of hope that we could at least wipe Micah out. But no, at the very end, they had to... Pull the rug from under me. God dang it. God, how far away is this place? I only have $11 on me. Oh my god. Be. 
go here. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. Abigail's not gonna be happy. When's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? <laughs> it's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> Oh, just get him. That's my damn wagon. Yeah, forget about the supplies. That's my wagon. We're fine, ain't we? Yeah, all right. Oh, oh shit. There. This ah. one's got a stone in his boot. Are we good? Tell Gaddy to take that off from off Mr. A. We get a whole Hey, we got it back without killing anybody. I thought that was gonna devolve into a gunfight for sure, but I guess we're trying to put that life past us. <laughs> you wanna hire me now? I'm useful. Hey! Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work, we'll work. I can do anything. We got, we got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here, you're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, She'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But... We'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Who is Mr. Geddes? Oh my god, if they go get Abigail, what if she gives different names and different stories? Different backstories. Epilogue, part one. Pronghorn Ranch. Wow, I guess that's it for Arthur. We're playing as John now. That's it. <laughs> well, that, that's pretty good. We got a gold thing for the first one. Yeah. Hey! Didn't drop any supplies. 
Wait. Did it say black water just now? <gasps> oh, I didn't even notice, but I'm not wanted in black water. Oh my god! Oh my god. Wow. What? Are we like starting a different game here or like what the hell is going on? Dang. Tom. Okay, well I guess we're rolling with it. Do I even have a gun? Um, not here? But maybe that's because we're on the ranch right now. Look at John. He doesn't even look the same. He actually looks like a dad now, my goodness. Since John and Abigail and Jack seem to be trying to put the gangster life, the outlaw life, behind them, I wonder how that's gonna change things going forward, because I'm assuming we're gonna be wanting to avoid killing people, hurting people, and we just want to live as a normal person. But judging by how Red Dead Redemption 1 exists... Uh, actually, what's the time difference between 2 and 1? I'm guessing right now it's like Red Dead Redemption 2, and then some years later is this epilogue here, and then maybe some years later it's Red Dead Redemption 1. So judging by how 1 exists, maybe this trying to be a normal person thing doesn't pan out. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra uh, hard. Hey! Hey! Get over here! Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> Is Mr. Dickens already on to me? Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. <laughs> Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. It's not as bad as Abigail thinks it is, though. We didn't hurt anybody. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was a uh... gangster. I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It's about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, well, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, 
It ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? Oh, good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Does being a gunslinger naturally have the outlaw connotation along with it? I assume so. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Don't squeeze too hard, so on and so forth. Oh god, okay. Oh, you ain't so bad. Thank you. Almost got a pail full. I might be a natural. So that guy didn't teach me anything. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your Pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. And Jack can do this. Fast enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. Isn't Lancelot a bit too much of an unusual name? How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Oh, Ain't wow. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? <sighs> mm-hmm. Hard to imagine that Jack's so old now. And it must be at least five years since Arthur's death, huh? He was really young back then. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work. Hard as it may be. You gotta clean shit up. Hey, remember when Arthur went to visit that one gunslinger? Boy. Bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Hey, well, it seems like John and Jack are proper father and son now. Moving up. Ain't that nice. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, <laughs> sir. Nothing. No more spaghetti and pizza, Jack. <laughs> Ew. I hope nobody's been eating. Ah. Uh. This is a dog's work. Would you rather be the one pushing the wheelbarrow, staring at the shit all day long, or the one pitchforking it over here? Ugh. <laughs> Coming. Oh, thank God. John Marston, the terror of the turds. God. 
Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Wow. This is... This is a really big change of pace. Isn't it? It's the life that Abigail and Jack deserve, so we gotta try our best for them. Gotta say though, I'm really missing Arthur. Like... Because we've spent so many dozens of hours with Arthur, and now you're suddenly throwing me John, I'm kind of like... I don't want this! I want Arthur back! Even though there's nothing wrong with John. I suppose people who have played Red Dead Redemption 1 probably feel differently, since John was already the main character here. Maybe in their case, they would be like, Oh, I don't want to play Arthur! Give me John! In the beginning. So, seeing this is kind of like a, Whoa, we're playing John again! What about Abigail's job? Is she working here now too? Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Oh, won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Oh. John has grown up a lot. Remember in the beginning, he was like not paying attention to Abigail and Jack and all? I'll put some coffee on. <laughs> you gotta do your best on Arthur's behalf too. Oh my god, that gave us three dollars. I'm not used to this kind of <laughs> order of magnitude of money. <laughs> Using the pseudonym Jim Milton. Oh my gosh, but in private, they were like... They were like using their real names. It seems kind of dangerous, because you're going to slip up someday. We got uh, David Geddes, Mr. Geddes, who owns the ranch here, and Tom Dickens, Mr. Dickens. Mr. Geddes, what a nice man. Actually took us in. Theoretically, I mean, we probably shouldn't right now because we have like no money, but uh, we could go back to like Saint Denis and maybe watch Marjorie perform. Is that a thing? Yeah, but the tickets cost two dollars and we don't have that kind of money. Y'all all right then? Do I look happy? Out of curiosity. Oh, I have a journal too. Does it go back to the beginning? Oh, wait, is this uh, John's journal or Arthur's journal? Oh, wow, oh my god. Oh, hold on, hold on, we gotta read this. When's the last page that Arthur wrote in? Fort Wallace? Yeah, we did this with John. As Arthur. Went with Charles to save Eagle Flies. They was gonna hang him, I think. Rescued him out from Fort Wallace in a storm. I don't feel so good. I see clearly, and I see nothing at all. Whole place has gone to hell. Dutch talking nonsense. I hope John has more brains in his head than sometimes I fear he does. Yes, we've read this. I'm sorry. John, protect Abigail and Jack. <sighs> so now John, presumably, he's read all of this. And he knows what Arthur was thinking. Hey, that means that they discovered Arthur's body. Oh god, I hate saying that, but um, they retrieved the journal from him. Being back in this country made me dig up Arthur's old journal again. 
Hot few years wandering. Now back here, this country that we ran to when things went crazy all those years ago. My mind is full of ghosts. Been a tough few years. Jack don't like me, and Abigail cannot stand me. Or is it the reverse? Yeah, earlier I said that Jack and John seem to be doing okay relationship-wise, but he... Jack seemed like he was going through some teenage stuff, which is... It's understandable. He's really, like, proper though, like, hello sir, sorry sir. <laughs> Killed a fella because he looked at me funny. Abigail wants me to settle down, to what? Everything I've tried has gone wrong, for so long now, and now I'm back in old country. Well, I guess the North didn't turn out so good. The North, huh? What did you do in the North? Not ranching? Wonder if there's anything in these treasure maps. That's it. Does that mean that you also picked up Arthur's satchel? Oh, this is definitely Arthur's satchel, isn't it? Not everything. But some things. Collection of miscellaneous items. Naval compass. A naval compass belonging to Pearson. A pocket mirror belonging to Molly. Oh, when did we get these things? Can we walk around with this on? <laughs> Maybe not. Pocket mirror. You gotta open it, dude. What the heck? <laughs> What's the point of staring at this? <laughs> God damn it, John. Anything else interesting here? No, oh, even all the cigarette cards and stuff. Yeah, so if Arthur has any loose ends... Hey. Hey, wait. That means I have way more than $14, right? If you picked up all this stuff. And the gold bar, the gold ingot. That's 300 bucks by itself. Haha, -ha, we found the loophole. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. We're gonna have money again. If we find a fence. Fellers, find another spot for loitering. Whoa! Don't get so head up. We work on the same ranch. Why you gotta be like that? Is this our life now? <laughs> I don't know. Who's closer? Mr. Gettys? We don't even own a proper horse, do we? Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe! Abe! I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Mr. Geddes is a kind man. Come Took on, us in. Over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. And since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. Yeah. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. 
Thanks, man. Is Mr. Geddes cheating on his wife or something? We better not ask. Don't ask about your boss's secrets. It's not a good idea. Florida Cracker Cow. Yields a hide and prime beef. Used in crafting and cooking and can be sold. Use a bow with an improved arrow for a clean kill. We're working on a ranch! Don't think about things like that! You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. <laughs> <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. God, that guy that walked past? I thought it was Pearson for a second. Whoa, none of that. You done? Come on. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <sighs> Calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm, I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Wow, that little boy has a really deep voice. <clears throat> Tire out, Jeremiah. Is that okay? We're kind of new here. And we're just gonna ride the owner's Let's best horse. It's probably not his best horse, but... <laughs> it's a horse he seems to like. Jeremiah. Everything you got. Oh! What did I kill? Easy now. I'm sorry. Oh my god, what did I kill? You got some energy? Show me then. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh my god, that looks like an eagle or something. A pheasant. That big mean horse. Jeremiah, it's my gift to you. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. Yeah. Come on. Let it all out. Oh, that horse has a white butt. I want it. Can you be my horse? Hey, I ain't gonna hurt you. It's probably time for us to head back. By the time we get back, it'll be okay. It'll be tired. If he's too tired, he might throw me off, huh? Okay. That was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? Yup. Is Duncan around Jack's age? Maybe they can become friends. Though I sort of anticipate that maybe we're not gonna stay here for that long. Because I assume something's gonna go wrong and we're gonna be forced to move. Just like what we've been doing in the past few years. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. I got you a nice bird too. You like it? Stay calm. Me? A horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but... You sure there isn't another horse? You need to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All Thanks. Right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. 
And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. This kid seems nice. I thought he would be spoiled and whatever, but he seems relatively normal. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I'm so sorry. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. It's over here. Yes. Sorry, ma'am. It's my first day here, and I'm already not listening. In here. Problem with the foal? So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Oh my God. Whatever you say, ma'am. Can we please go back to skinning animals? <laughs> okay, now hold on. <laughs> Reach around in there. And pull. What? Didn't come. Get a hold of it again. Grip them. Oh, I slipped. Do I have it's to mash? One way or another. Grab them again. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... <laughs> Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. What? A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. We've only met for 3 seconds and she was already on to me. What the heck? Cuz she she's jealous cuz her husband's getting some in town and she's not. <laughs> Oh my god. We'll have to be really careful here. It's nice to have a stable life, but if it's at the cost of something coming between me and Abigail or Jack, then that's not really what we would want, is it? And we gotta be careful about Mrs. Geddes too, because if she's not a nice person, she's gonna be like, Oh my god, Mr. Milton tried to put the moves on me, we should fire him. And then boom, we'd be out of a job. We gotta be really careful here. <laughs> 